Toy Tractor Times fans, I'm at the 2022 National Farm Toy Show in Dyersville, Iowa, hosted by Toy Farmer. I'm here with Marlon Swanson from Emory, Wisconsin, and uh, we can see his really nice replica of a dairy display. It competed in the large-scale model farm contest here, and we can see the Marlin and Judy Swanson, the little farm sign out front. Very nice styling and detail. Marlin, what can you tell us about your farm display here? Well, this this farm is in one thirty-second scale. The dairy barn here has a pipeline. Uh, the, the milk goes through the pipeline, from the cow into the pipeline, into the milk tank. Uh, much of this is made from odds and ends, scrap, junk, whatever you might call it. The receiver jar here in the milk house is made from a uh, Coleman Lantern keychain. Uh, and that, this is a 40 by 66 building, replica in 30 seconds? Yes. And I guess the dimensions here are uh, 40 by 66 if this was a full full size barn. Uh, this this is a shed here for the tractor and manure spreader and we can show you this is a clay type spreader. Here we go. Oh, got it for first. Somebody is here. Here we go. Yeah, nice uh, farmhand side delivery flail spreader. Let's take that over here. So the tractor uh, would come into the barn here the under the tractor cleaner. Tractor would would come in through this door and. Park under the cleaner. Let's see if I can grab the tire and pull it on through. When it, when it is filled, it would be hauled out to the field and spread on the field. I always thought these kind of setups were neat because it's very easy to drive under the lip there, and then uh, you've got your barn cleaner. This barn barn cleaner is built so it comes out flat, so there's no liquid running back into the barn, and it also has no reverse curve. Uh, the barn cleaner in this is powered by a motor from a car door window. Very nice. Uh, I always thought that the barn cleaner was a neat thing though to see. It, it saved a, a lot of wear and tear on the back. Well, that's a neat detail and you can see it there. It would dump out right into that spreader. The, the little Glass block windows that look like glass blocks here are made from a sheet of plastic on the table saw by setting the saw blade up only a fraction of an inch and running okay. it over. It's a nice detail. Over, then you have the uh, two silos out here. The, the two silos are, are made of PVC pipe. Uh, this would be, full size would be a 16 foot silo. The other one would be a 20-foot silo. The ladder and guards on the ladder are made from hardware cloth. On the back side of the silo, which the silo would actually sit this way, the chutes are made from some aluminum flashing. Very nice. And then you have the feeder, a badger feeder out here in the, the yard. The feeder is set up so we can open the doors and turn the cows out and they can make use of this feeder. Put the cows back in and we can open a gate here. And if we have stock in this area here, we can turn them in and let those eat and then turn them back out again. And so the, this the auger actually moves on this too. On the, on the feeder? The auger, the auger does move on the feeder. Yes, I have it yeah, it's, it's moving. It's very slow. Very slow. 
the battery has been running for three days, so the battery is <laughs> getting weak. Sure. You've got a nice uh, gal skid steer here. There's a, a collection of skid steers here, but a skid steer is something that would be used to clean, clean the barnyard. And then we have the Morgan Larson Clear Lake, Wisconsin, uh, number one bull shipper truck. This uh, was a friend of mine that bought and sold cattle for many years, bought dairy cattle and shipped them out to the East Coast. Uh, the fence here is not made of hardware cloth. The gates are made from copper wire. Then we have a calf barn here. And this calf barn is made so on a nice day you can open the doors. When it's cold, the doors can be closed and the sun will come through the windows and keep the calves warm. Very nice. It's a great building. I guess we can uh, take a look at the other side of the display here. Looks like some corn cribs. Okay, these, these corn cribs, the roofs are made actually from Eagle oil cans, but they are made so they were filled with ear corn, and then an elevator would be put into the bottom, and a door opened up, and the corn would run into the elevator. Uh, so we got an international 4586 four wheel drive on Tilla Gentleman. On this field cultivator here, this field color cultivator I made. Uh, there are 300 pieces in the field cultivator made from scrap. The springs are made from a ball or from a ballpoint pen. These are from a, a pan stretcher. This is from uh, extension cord. The only thing I purchased was the discs from the hardware store. Very nice and got a Ford uh, gravity wagon on a white 4184 old drive and, the and auger. This, this is for grain. Uh, it could be either corn, soybeans, or oats up into this grain bin. We have a 48 by 72, 130 second scale building uh, full of all of our equipment. We've got uh, some combines and implements in there. This uh, building I made back in the 70s, so it's about 50 years old, and I never did get it covered, but I'm glad I didn't because now people can see the detail. Oh, it's very nice and just uh, really neat things. The Oliver Tractor, uh, Ann Arbor Baylor. This Oliver there. Tractor is an arcade that was probably made back in the 30s. The front was a narrow front and I repaired it, put a wide front on it. This uh, corn picker here, or a corn chopper. We can look in there and see how it looks realistically lined up. And this this corn chopper is something that I made from a corn binder. I cut this part off and put this on because nobody made a 30-second scale corn chopper or corn picker. This is the corn picker. Oh, I like that, with, complete with a chain in there. Very nice. Oh. The, the barn roof here is made to fit on the barn basement over there. Okay. If this barn roof is sitting on the barn basement, there are a thousand pieces in the building. 92 pieces of plywood on the floor, which would be inch and a half by three. 30-second scale, 4 by 8, 8 foot, full-size plywood. Now you have a new idea of bell elevator in here, which would brought the bells inside, and we can see them coming up from the barn. The bell wagon is a New Holland bell wagon. Uh, there are about 135 pieces of copper wire in the bale wagon. And then we can see the bales moving up here. And uh, 
PTO drive on the new idea elevator. And this barn construction is from a barn that was built in 1942 and it was one of the first clear span barns. Most of the barns before this, there was post and beam, so there was always beams going across the barn. So this the, ba barn, the bales would come in through the top of the barn here and then drop into the mouth? Yes. The chain on this conveyor is from a antique kerosene lamp chandelier. This chain is probably a hundred years old. Wow. Still going strong. The chain in that barn cleaner over there is, was put in in the 70s, so that has been around for about 50 years. Well, Marlon, it's a wonderful display, and it's neat to see the working equipment on it. I know it's been a crowd favorite this weekend. And thank you for sharing it here at the show. Thank you. Thank you. Marlin has also recreated a Minneapolis Moline dealer here, and uh, one of the really cool things is this uh, Oliver 2655 is hooked up to a big custom-built Oliver corn planter, and then we have Minneapolis Moline drags and harrows and rollers, forge wagon, hay rack spreaders, tractors, and then we can see inside the dealership here, some equipment in for repair, and uh, congratulations to Marlon on taking fourth place here at the, the show. And then uh, on the other side of the building is Alice Chalmers tractors, and uh, we've got the Alice Chalmers corn picker, forge harvester, spreader, baler, harrows, plows, and even an all-crop uh, combine. Oh. So even a grain drill. So it's a very nice um, layout here showing um, some historic equipment from uh, Agco Brands and really neat to see. So we also have just a little bit of write up on it. In 1945, and Minneapolis Moline tractor was $700. Uh, so that was quite a steal by today's standards where they're hundreds of thousands of dollars. The dealer was $700. Oh, we got a, we've got the uh, Moline uh, hay loader here, so that, it's uh, just really neat. And uh, so it's $1,400 for the pair, so if you're going to hook up the baler and the tracker, that was a pretty good deal. And here we can see the forge box that Marlin's holding. And Alan Benson was the Minneapolis Moline dealer at the time, and this is a replica of his, uh, of his building. Thank you for watching uh, Marlon and Judy Swanson's display here, The Little Farm from Amory, Wisconsin, here on Troy Tractor Times YouTube. If you would like to attend the National Farm Toy Show to display or to see it, it is hosted by Toy Farmer the first full weekend in November here in Dyersville, Iowa. Consider subscribing to Toy Tractor Times YouTube where there are hundreds of videos on farm displays. As always, thank you for watching.